Mike, do you talk to us about these numbers, your pre-tax profit doubling to just over 1 billion shillings. Just tell us what underpinned that. I mean, we've talked about those, those, um, that part of that premium um, portion of your business, you know, having that increase. But also you were talking about operations and just how you were able to operate more smoothly in the re reporting period. Yeah, I mean, Hannah, uh, obviously last year, as we know, the back end of last year was a difficult year. Uh, we could touch on that one a bit later. But uh, the underlying things in the company is uh, CFC Life and Heritage, which are the two operating businesses uh, in, the, in the Hold Co. Uh, both showed a lot, a lot of resilience to, to those market movements. And uh, the, the main thing was actually in the short-term business. The short-term business uh, did very well in terms of claims ratio, uh, grew its top line nicely. And uh, you know the emphasis on these two businesses has been to try and look at the synergies of the two of them, and certainly we've extracted a few of those out of uh, last year's uh, performance, and, and hence the result. Mike, when you talk about some of the some of the issues that were were dampening your earnings there, some of the things you had to deal with were in high interest rates in Kenya, inflation, and also sluggish share performance. Just tell us about what you did to be able to mitigate some of these factors. Yeah, I mean, if you take the equity market, uh, the NSC was uh, the worst performing in Africa last year. Um, and, you know, fortunately, we've, we've had a relatively conservative approach to investing in equities. Um, so the downside of the market was not uh, as bad for us as uh, some of the other businesses in this market. Uh, as far as rising interest rates are concerned, uh, we took the right kind of uh, uh, steps uh, relatively early in the cycle to make sure that we mitigated some of those uh, 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 losses. Although, you, if you look at the comprehensive income, you see it does flow through to an extent over there. Um, and, and those were the, the, the key issues which we managed to, to help mitigate the impact of uh, the market. Inflation still remains an issue. Uh, inflation still remains a concern, and I think that that's something we're going to still see uh, through the course of this year. Expectations of reductions, but I think that it's still going to be something that's going to keep pressure on, on high interest rates for, for the the best part of 2012 as well. With the CFC listing on the Nairobi Stock Exchange, I mean, even though there was, you know, like you're saying, you, it was quite difficult for the Nairobi Stock Exchange last year, just talk to us a little bit about investor interest in your stock. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the actual trade volumes on uh, the, the Hold Co shares was relatively low last year. And I think that that's uh, indicative of a fairly dampened market and having come into to the market at a, at a latter end of uh, uh, the, the, the whole trade cycle, the positive end of the trade cycle, let's say. So, you know, we haven't seen the, 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 as much volatility in our stock as we may have seen in, in others. But I have to say that, I mean, I think that uh, as much as one can look at the, the downside of last year's uh, equity markets in, in Kenya, uh, if you're on the ground, you're going to be feeling pretty bullish about the stock market in, in Kenya. And, uh, and certainly, I think that. Uh, you know, this is, this is not a time that one wants to be running away from uh, uh, this particular stock market. Uh, and I think we're seeing that um, increasingly. So, you know, already year to date, we've seen an improvement in the market. And, and that's, a, that's a positive thing. Surely, Mike, this would then have some kind of an impact, I would imagine, on, on, your, on your ability to be able to raise capital for your operations. Yeah, I mean, the capital issue is, is, has been a, a, a problem, particularly in uh, life insurance companies uh, last year. Uh, the result, notably, of the high interest rate uh, movements have, has uh, had, a, had a severe impact on solvency levels of life companies. Uh, and that uh, obviously has, has hit the, 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 the comprehensive income. Now, to that extent, those companies that need capital, um, I think you're right, uh, it's going to be a difficult time to raise capital. Uh, I think it is in, in, in the market in general, um, just simply because of the alternative short-term investment opportunities that exist for, for spare cash. But uh, you know, as we sit today, we have adequate capital, and during the first uh, part of this year, uh, the performance of the, uh, both the interest rate environment and the equities environment has already so we've already seen improvements in solvency levels across the companies. So we're not in need of additional capital, and we don't intend going to the markets uh, to raise any capital. Mike, Mike, on that, on the on the back of what you've just said right now, what do you intend to focus that capital on in terms of growth? Yeah, the, I, clearly top line growth has got to be an issue. We, we know that the Kenyan insurance market is, is uh, penetration levels are, are very low. And so our focus has been to, to look at uh, alternative distribution uh, models, uh, to focus on the CFC Life Agency force. We did a lot of work last year in terms of, of how we structured that, that force. 
um, uh, to grow the short-term business. And I think that that's uh, a case of uh, looking at non-traditional distribution markets, re-looking at the product set. We're uh, having uh, doing a lot of work around revamping our product set, both in the short-term and the life businesses. Uh, and then, particularly, one's got to look at the cost structures of these businesses. Uh, and I think that that applies to all businesses in a high inflation environment. Um, uh, costs are the things that could uh, could really hammer any business in, in this kind of uh, environment if it's not they're not very carefully watched. Very quickly, Mike, I want to ask you what your forecast for your next financial year is going to look like, and just talk to us a little bit about the challenges that you might face. Well, I think, as, as I say, I think the biggest challenge that we still face is uh, the uh, the inflation environment. Um, we still have some of the, the the fundamentals relative to to currency volatility. Uh, that could face uh, the, the, the macro economy. Uh, high oil prices or higher oil prices will still put strain on uh, on imports and the balance of payments. So these are the, the environmental issues that will impact consumer spending. Uh, and as we know, insurance is not uh, considered by everybody to be an absolute necessity. So you know, a lot of people will, will defer to, to other more pressing economic needs uh, when it comes to, to using their, their, their disposable income. You know, we've got to be able to demonstrate to people that insurance is actually uh, a very necessary item in your portfolio and not just a, a have to have.